first full day on the job for Senator Tom Cotton. The former congressman says he's ready to get to work. With a hand on his family Bible, Tom Cotton took the oath of office from Vice President Joe Biden on Tuesday, and he and his team are now transitioning from one side of the Capitol to the other. The Senate moves a little bit more deliberately on all matters, not just legislation, just in terms of getting offices and phones and computers, but we're doing a good job. We've got all my, my whole team from my house office is going to be in the Senate with me, so they're going to be working hard on behalf of our Kansans. Cotton told me one of the first things he'll do, co-sponsor a bill to clear the path for the Keystone XL pipeline, which a Little Rock company is making hundreds of miles of pipe for, but the president has vowed to veto the bill. Barack Obama's own State Department says that it'll create tens of thousands of jobs, the exact kind of infrastructure project that he often speaks favorably about. I'm hopeful that we'll have enough Democrats not just to overcome the 60-vote filibuster in the Senate, but also override Barack Obama's veto with 67 votes if he does veto it. It's a showdown in the first week of the new Congress between the Republican majority and the Democratic president. And Cotton agreed there is an opportunity to set a tone of compromise but he's not optimistic, especially on health care. He intends to keep his campaign pledge to vote to repeal Obamacare, but is already making plans for the next move. We know that Barack Obama and a lot of the liberal Democrats in the Congress are going to fight tooth and nail to stop that. When we can't repeal Obamacare, then we'll hopefully move forward with more targeted measures that will stop some of the immediate harms of Obamacare. And Cotton says those targeted measures include addressing Americans losing access to their family doctor and reducing regulations.